Hello fit bosses and welcome to the multi-variation circuit leg day workout. Now this is the opposite of what you do in the first month of Operation S-Curve and the reason why we do that is because within four to six weeks of training your body has this fantastic ability to adapt to change. So if your body constantly keeps adapting to what you're throwing at it, it won't give you the results that you want to achieve. So we have to throw the curveball and show it something a little bit different. So let's get into it. All right, so this is sort of part of what we're gonna be doing in the reshape challenge, right? And the main thing you got to take away from this workout is that we are pushing your muscle to the limits but without using extreme heavy weights, right? But uh, it's a circuit workout which is slightly different to what we've done. I've only done one circuit type of workout with you. Uh, we incorporate the circuit, the circuit format into the S-curve workouts and this is, uh, this is one example of it. Right, so what you're going to do is you're going to do one set of each of the exercises that you're going to see here. So the first exercise we're going to do, in fact, before we begin, let's go run through some of the exercises we are going to do. We're going to start off with the calf raise exercise, then we're going to get into some of the squat variations and then we're going to do a variation of the deadlift and then we're going to finish off with some bands with some uh, anterior posterior exercises so let's go all right so the first exercise we're going to do is the calf raise so obviously i've got no calf raise equipment here all i would really need is a step but i don't have that but what you are going to do is you're going to do one set of about 45 to 50 reps and all you're going to do is you're going to do a calf raise with your feet pointed straight, all right? Do that for 15. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing again, but your feet pointed outwards, right? And what you can also do is, you might have seen this in the calf raise video that I've recently done, is you can... Bend your knees a little bit. So, if you bend your knees slightly, what that does when you're coming down, it it uh, gives more range of motion into your calves, and it definitely gives it more of a burn and more of a uh, it taxes the muscles a lot more. It's a big, big difference from a slight, a very slight change. You might have seen me do that in the calf raise video, but if you haven't done that, do that. Bend your knees slightly, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch to feet pointed inwards, right? And do that 15 as well. Okay, and you're not going to use a very heavy weight. You're going to use very light weight. Uh, in fact, for all of these exercises, you're going to use a, a moderate, you know, a moderate weight. And if you're not going to use a moderate weight, then you could just use your body weight. And you can keep doing a circuit over and over and over uh, until you burn out, <laughs> until you're finished, until you're done. Right? That's how you push your muscles to the limits without using extreme heavy weights. Right, so there you go. You're gonna do calf raise with uh, with your feet pointed straight outwards and inwards. Doing that will work all of the areas of the calves, and it's fantastic and it works great for myself as well. Okay, and if you uh, if you are in a gym and you're gonna do this, do this workout, then what you could, what you can do after that is do a seated variation of the calf raise as well. Uh, that, that also helps target certain parts of your calves in a better way than the standing variation. All right, so that's the calf raise out of the way. So now, next exercise you're gonna do straight after those, remember you're only, only, only gonna do one set of each of these exercises, you're gonna do a sumo squat. Remember the sumo squat helps target the inner thighs, all right? So uh, it's a wide start squat, all right? So it's gonna do, I'm just gonna do five to keep this really quick because we're doing about eight, eight exercises here. So, uh, it's wide stance and all the way down, right? It's the ass to grass, right? The reason why I'm emphasizing that is you'll see in a moment, all right? So, this is a wide stance squat, okay? Whatever you, equipment you've got, you've got a dumbbell, barbell, whatever. And it's not going to be a heavy weight, but you're going to do that for, because you're going to be doing it as a circuit, do 10 to 15 reps, right? That's one. 
uh, this one. If you're going to do body weight, do about 20 reps. Okay? So, straight after the sumo squat, what you're going to do is you're going to do your super rep squat. And the super rep squat is one of my favorites because it just works very really well. And some of you may know personally from myself, the squat isn't a fantastic exercise. The super rep squat is, right? But the squat by itself isn't. In fact, one of my favorites for myself, um, it's not for everyone, but the. Uh, all of the exercises such as the standing hip extension, donkey kicks, adductor, ad, adductor exercises, adductor exercises, those work fantastic for me, right? Um, this is, you know, if you've read the recent newsletters, then there's a lot of things you'll see there that we've learned over the year that uh, we've noticed what works for some fit buzzers and what doesn't work. And it's always surprising, you know, because everyone's different. So. Super rep squat goes a little something like this. It's a normal squat, but you count down to five, five seconds. So it's one, two, three, four, five, up quick. One, two, three, four, five, up quick. One, two, three, four, five, up quick. All the way down. One, two, three, four, five, up quick. If it doesn't seem like as much, I can assure you by the seventh rep, eighth rep, you're gonna start feeling like a different person because I can assure you of one thing which I'm pretty sure of is that majority of you are heavy squatting right now you're heavy squatting all the time and it probably gives you some sense of achievement but sometimes if you do it if you're not you know focusing on full contraction and it's growth that you want then you're almost doing yourself a disservice because you don't always uh, you won't always achieve the results that you want to get just by lifting heavy Right, hence the reason why the reset challenge is going to be part of the, uh, the S curve program now. So after the after the super rep squat, you're going to get into the squat again, right? And this time, let's put this down. I don't really need it. What you can do this time is uh, the squat and calf raise. So you might have seen this before. It's a great multi exercise, and it's squat and up to the toes, right? Squat up onto the toes. Squat up onto the toes. Squat up to the toes. One more. Squat up. Whee! Fly high. Alright, so. Done. We start with the car threes and go into the squat. So, the squat exercise is part of that. Great there. Uh, Great up down motion exercises you all know. So the next set of exercises we're gonna do now is the deadlift. But we're gonna do a sumo deadlift. Now the reason I said before about you know making sure that you do the ass to grass thing with the squat is because a lot of people do the deadlift wrong and when they that's when they get injured. So with a deadlift, remember the deadlift is not a squat. You know, deadlift is I drop something down and I pick it up. That's a deadlift, right? But my ass didn't go to the floor, right? You pick it up with your legs. So we're gonna do a sumo squat, because a sumo squat is, a, is again the wide stance, but this targets your butt, you know, a lot more, right? So it's a great uh, butt targeting exercise. So we're gonna let the weight drop, because we're using a dumbbell here, and it's just forward, all right, and it's up, up, all right, it's wide stance, that's the only difference there. So if you're using a bar, your legs will be on the outside, and it's going to be a close grip on the, uh, on the inside, so that's it. No, that's the only difference. So that's the uh, sumo deadlift. So you do that for one for one set. So now <clears throat> the next exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna drop all of the uh, up down motion exercises. You know, start start using some bands to finish it off. So the next exercise we're gonna do is one of my, one of my uh, sort of favorite, but it's a, it's a great exercise. It's the donkey kick. So the donkey kick is. Uh, Ah. 
So, the donkey kick is a very simple exercise. So, I can just get on the floor, as you've seen there. I can just put the handle there and I get on all fours. A good old doggy. All right, and uh, what you're going to do is kick all the way back. So, it's just kick all the way back. Just keep your body straight and kick all the way back. All right. And because it's a, uh, a type of exercise that it is, you could do high reps with that. So 20 reps, right? So you just do uh, one set for each leg. All right, so uh, the uh, that's one of the favourites for the bands because it's so simple to do and it works great. The uh, it's a great alternative. It's a great exercise to do alongside the uh, the quadruple tip extension as well. I haven't done that for this this workout, but that is another great exercise. So the last one I'll do now, which is one of my favourites because it's, it, it can be very easily tweaked, is. The standing hip extension and let's use this leg. And uh, let's just tie it around here. So, for those of you who may have been watching for the past several months, you might notice that I'm using the band that actually broke. Alright? Bit of nostalgia for you there. Alright, so. Uh, I'm just going to do five reps again just to keep it very short as, as a demonstration of what you're going to do. Remember again with this, uh, it's great because if you want to add resistance, what you're going to do is come back a bit, right? Step back and it's potential energy. In scientific terms, that's energy that's built up. It's potential energy and you're manipulating that just by uh, pulling it back further. So it's energy that's, that's there. There's energy there that you're going to utilize to add some resistance to your button leg. All right, so all you're gonna do here is hyperextend by about 20 degrees. You hyperextend so that you can increase your range of motion, okay? And I wanna come a bit closer. I don't really need to be working it too hard today, but uh, hyperextend it a bit, and the leg just moves, nothing else. Just to show you what I mean, I mean, if I stand completely straight, automatically you can see that the range of motion has been limited, right? Because I'm not that bendy, I'm, it's not even about being bendy, it's just that the human body <laughs> isn't, unless you are very flexible, it's not really designed for it to be bent that much. And I don't want to, you know, to be getting injured, so the hyperextension by 20 degrees increases the range of motion. And you know everything just stays in the same place. It's just that your leg moves, all right? And that's it. And all you're gonna do is do that entire workout, that that circuit. You're gonna do it multiple times. So the best way I've found to do it, or the most interesting way, the fun way to do it, to keep it fun, to keep you motivated, to push you. Do it with a partner, it could be anyone. And because it's such a simple circuit workout, you could do it in your home, just uh, get anyone in your family to do it. So, I don't know, whoever it is, you have as friends or whoever you work out with, or just anyone. You know, if you're gonna do a, a nice short circuit workout, and just to give yourself a, a good blast and push your muscles to the limits without using heavy weights, do this workout, you start and your friend just follows, and you keep doing the exercises, over and over and over and it pushes you because if you start to fail then your friends are going to catch up to you and you're going to ruin the motion you don't want to do that so that's it fit buzzers if you've got any questions uh anything just anything you've got to say anything you want to say just fire away in the comments email replies whatsapp skype all of this technology just use it and communicate so until the next video i will see you then bye bye